time once again for the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament. We begin with some good news and some bad news for Flush, our perennial survivor. Um, the one who has been clawing at the bottom uh, since this game began, trying to keep himself in the game and in the tournament. So, the bad news first, I misscored him last time. I thought he was tied with Little Red. He's not. He's one point down. The good news, he just turned Japanese. I think so. He has the Japanese on the board. That's going to be worth flat two points right away. Um, and they have a lot of opportunity for more scoring. They score on wheat. They score on money. They're very good at making money once they get going because they can, they can urbanize faster than... Um, most of the other empires, maybe all of them, I'm not sure. I, I don't know, I don't have the empires memorized. They also score on uh, water territory, which is going to put them in conflict with the Syracusians. But they actually have more boats. Uh, the counter set, his um, tan counter set has more boats than his brown counter set, counter set, I think. No, they have the same amount. Forget that. Um, I guess I could check the book. It's getting kind of messy, so I don't even know anymore. But um, there are three Syracuse. Yeah, so about the same amount. But essentially, he could he could do what the Syracusians do get the get the boats for the Japanese, not ha and be able to drop them um, potentially later. Except that they have such a nice culture. Anyway, so he has the Japanese going. That's going to give him an extra two points per turn, which means he's going to be scoring two plus one. He didn't score in India. That was what I messed up. The Guptas, so it's three, plus another, whatever. He's scoring more than Little Red with those Japanese, so we'll see what happens. So Cowboys, Phoenicians, and Flush's Syracusians have always kind of mirrored each other in this game. They both score on water. They have some slight differences. Water and progress. They both get boat discounts, I think. Um, and they're both in a kind of similar situation. They're both, they're both become these kind of old... You know, highly cultured, wealthy empires. They have all this money, but they don't have a lot to do with it. Um, you know, no matter how much they spread, they're they're very limited in how many points they can actually get here. So that's just an interesting observation. I think the Amazons are actually kind of similar as well in that respect. I mean, they're, they're these huge, sprawling empires with all this this money and wealth, just money to burn. Uh, you know. Runt on her turn, she spent four dollars just to give Sir Gawain a bunch of stuff because she has so much money. What's she gonna do with it? Flush, for his part, he did he produced with the Syracusians. He only had a couple of units he could actually put down there because they're so far back in terms of progress, and so he um, he's basically just kind of keeping a lot of money on hand to help shut out Little Red's chams from getting their two points for having the most money. He's not doing that single handedly, but it's definitely helping. He has more than the champs there. There's the champs money, there's his. Giraffe's Harappans are, are doing a counter strike in India, coming down in two spaces, one here in um, Deccan and the other one here in Hyder Hyderabad. Yeah, Hyderabad. So here we have the, the Deccan fight. And this is over a, a rather juicy space. It's got uh, wheat and it's it's fertile, so it's worth five during production, which is which is healthy. Um, you see all of Giraffe's forces have kind of converged on that space. She could only really get uh, very few into Hyderabad, but that's Flush's capital. She'd really like to take that from him as well, because um, that would give him a, a negative point, actually. the if, if she succeeds in that fight, the Guptas are going to be not worth really him holding on to because they're just going to be taking points away from him at a time when he really needs to be getting points. So let's take a look at what we have here. 3, 6, 9, 12, 14, um, 17, 20, 24, 27. That's probably the largest force we've seen in combat so far against 8, um, 18, all right, so 27 against 18. Now he's going to have some bonuses. Um, Minus two to her roll because of this giant here, right? Is that right? right. Let's, where is that giant? Uh, he's hiding under here. And he is an administrator and a tactician. Yeah, so he's a he's a tactician. And, is that the right piece? I don't think it is. 
Oh no, he is. Okay. Yeah, he's a tactician and he's a leader, so he gives minus two. And then she also had to cross a river. Um, j -j -j defense modifier plus one. If any units enter this area across the. Okay, so that's going to be another minus one. So minus three to the roll. And what did we say? That was three, six, nine, fourteen, plus um, ten, thirteen, so twenty-seven to. Sorry, I got to refigure this out. Eight, uh, yeah, twenty-seven to eighteen. So I got to figure out what ratio that is. I'm not the best arithmetician. That was actually rather simple. It's three to two. Um, this could be a long fight, I'm thinking. I just hate these E's. I wish I wish there was something more incremental. I don't love this combat results table, but okay. So D6 on the 3 to 2 column, minus 3. 4 minus 3, that's 1. Nothing happens. Does anyone want to retreat? I th does Flush want to retreat? I think he does. He does want to retreat. So he's going to retreat his guys actually into here. And that's going to give her some trouble. She got a commanding victory in Deccan, but it's probably going to cost her Hydera bad. This disorder is going to go away because she definitely has enough people there. All right, so let me put down the camera. All right, so here's the, the Hyderabad uh, forces. Uh, doesn't look for look good. Doesn't look good for giraffes forces. This is all she has. It's ten. But luckily for her, um, little red played outflanked on her behalf, uh, which she can do because she has more shields than the Marian Guptas. Uh, so that's gonna have his total, which was twenty-seven. 10, 15, 12, yeah, 27 divided by 2, that's going to make it 14, um, which gives us a 2 to 3 ratio, I think. Um, and she's also going to get a minus 3 to that. Oh no, minus 2, because 1 could force, 1 for river. Uh, minus 2. I wonder if anyone else wants to play any. Let's think. Who would, who would really be. She might. Runt might. No. I don't think anyone else really has, uh, really wants to take flush out over Little Red necessarily. Um, yeah, he's not really bothering anyone. Cowboy maybe would want to get, get him out of there. Uh, Cowboy would have done something sooner if that's really what he wanted. Okay, so we're at, sorry for all that, 2 to 3, 1d6 minus 2. Oh, minus three, right? Doesn't he have thump? I forgot about thump. Oh, one, one d six minus four. That's gonna be rough. Three. Two to three. Half the attacking force. Okay, so all the attacking force, and then the defenders lose half that amount. So the poor elephant died again. <laughs> but still, that's that's wearing away at him. Not the end of the world for. Poor giraffe, and I think I think she definitely has um, India. She's just not giving him that deficit that she was looking for. What she couldn't do with military giraffe is ending up being able to do with card play. She actually got double destiny actions going, so she got to kind of cherry pick uh, a number of cards. Flush got two as well, however, um, but it wasn't enough for him. So she played um, Empire Collapses. That's gonna get rid of all the units in any disordered area of his empire. He played a card to counter that, but she played a card to counter the card that he was playing to counter it. And so at the cost of two cards, she's going to be getting rid of all of these fellows here in his capital, which makes it so that it's not very attractive for him to hold on to the Guptas anymore. They're going to cost him a point this turn. And as long as he keeps them until he can get Hyderabad back, which it would be at least two turns, right? Because he's going to need to produce and then move. Um, she can, uh, he's going to be losing points. Um, so he'll probably get rid of them, which is bad for him because that's a blue counter set. So if he gets rid of those blue, that blue counter set, someone else is going to be able to snag it likely before he can. Um, the turn order, by the time he gets rid of it, it would be Little Red's turn if Little Red's still playing. So pretty vicious move. She's still not done with her civilized actions. So let's finish that up.
And after Little Red Saxons got a point for him by adopting Confucianism, and he got Salamander to join him in England, which will help his, his chances in taking it over, or it would if there was anything to fight in England, because after all of that, the Irish are going away. Um, Milky decided to throw in the Irish towel. Uh, it's a lot of forces to go against there, and I think he wants to start something new. So they're going to leave Britain open to the Saxons. And we're at the end of the turn. Big jumping points to Little Red. It's not even close anymore. Uh, he got the he got a couple of these cards here, which I think drafted earlier. I probably didn't shuffle too well. Kind of feels bad for him to get to jump ahead because he just played those cards. Um, I don't know. What can you do? Uh, well, I guess you can just. I don't know. It's a little depressing to me. I, I, it's not that I didn't want, I, I didn't really have a preference as to who would get eliminated. I just don't like it happening that way. Just by, because you played these cards, you get to, to win. Um, I don't know, I, I kind of hate that. But what can I do? I've already allowed those cards to be played for Giraffe earlier. Seems in an elimination context, it's just a little harsh, but that's, I guess, I guess I got to sleep with that. I got to live with that. Um, so, yeah, Little Red got 10 points, Flush got 4. Uh, he could still come back, I guess. There hasn't been a lot of progress here, so it's possible Flush could come back and take it, but uh, I don't know. His chances aren't so good. He could keep pulling in for a turn. Um, actually, if he can get another boat out there, he would be... Oh, he should be taken in. No, yeah, I did that right, too. Two and two. Yeah, he might be able to... He might be able to pull it out still. But I just... Uh, uh, sorry, I keep I keep mumbling about that. Um, Melky's only pulling in two points without his Irish. Hopefully he can get a better empire to replace them. Cowboy's still going strong with six. Runt's still going strong. I forgot to score... Man, my head's not with me. I forgot to score uh, Giraffe, didn't I? I went right to, to Little Red. I lost Giraffe's cards. I think that's what happened. I that yeah. Uh, so I I I was talking to you about her half of her civilized action. Then when I came back, do the the next half, I couldn't find her cards because um, I don't know. I don't know. So Giraffe's gonna score what she has second place in Europe. Um, I think second, nope, she doesn't have second place artifacts. So it's three, and then the Harappans, she gets two, so five. Five for draft. Sorry you had to watch me do that on camera. Um, so she's here. Still doing fine. Um, what else interesting has happened that I didn't really talk about? Uh, the early Finns are starting to spread out. They're going to be contending maybe for second place in Europe pretty soon here. Uh, Saxons are going to have Britain. Chams are over there. You know, we kind of have, we're kind of returning back to some semblance of how it used to look. Melky is the one who's, I think, overall doing a lot worse than he was doing. I mean, his Arabs, who were going to be his shining star, they just got beat back. And I don't know how he's going to go against what Cowboy has built up with the Phoenicians unless the Phoenicians leave. Um, which they could, you know, they're not very useful. Cowboys just scoring easy points over here, although the Phoenicians are a strong people. Um, Syracusians doing their thing. They might give Flesh a chance. I think I'm just kind of babbling now, but I, that really disturbed me, the, the card thing. So it's, it's a way that this system doesn't flush with the, the, the player elimination. It's not supposed to be used for player elimination. Yeah.